Trail Seeker Adventures heads to round two of the Kenda U.S. Sprint Enduro at the south of the border MX Motocross Park in south of the border, South Carolina. The pros tackle the track and make it look easy. Even though I'm injured, we still get you out on the cross test and the Enduro test to show you what round two was all about. Come along and check it out and see what all the fireworks is all about. Yep, I'm injured, but Heidi is not, so we are at round two of the U.S. Sprint Enduro. And what a great weekend we had. The weather was awesome, and many came out to tackle the track here at round two. We are at SOBMX. No, that's not what you think. It is south of the border motocross park, where they have a full training facility. If you're wanting to step up your motocross, Supercross or even Arena Cross, make sure you check them out. Excited! U.S. Sprint Enduro had nearly 100 youth out here on round two. In case you've never heard of U.S. Sprint Enduro, you're basically racing a clock. You have a cross test and an Enduro test. A rider will hit the track every 15 seconds. You line up with your class, you wash the clock, you hit the track and go as fast as you can with the least amount of mistakes and whoever does each test the quickest will be the leader at the end of the day. There's two days of racing, you will do three cross tests and three enduro tests each day and at the end of the weekend they have an overall winner. Let's watch these youth hit the track. I got a lot of footage this weekend and if I didn't use it for the main video make sure you stick around at the end of this video I threw it in and just maybe I caught you out ripping up the truck. Mike Rose had some battles between Grayson, Sean, Mason, Brentley. I could see the determination in their eyes. For the micro overall there were some battles with the youth class between Peyton, Jonathan, Mason, Austin, Jacob, Camden. It's so great to see the racers of the future battling today. They come in, check their scores, see how they ended up for the day, and then hit the podium. We've got over 20 riders here trying to qualify for a spot to represent the United States and France this year. Give them a big round of applause for representing us overseas. And now it's time for the adults to hit the track. Yes, this is a six day qualifier. We're going over to represent the USA. Johnny Gerard hits the track first, followed by Josh Toth and Lane Michael. I was able to limp out on the track and try to get you all some video. Let's check them out. Yeah. Ripping up the track. Like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Moves won't have it till I'm formed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If it tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rocks in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back, better than last year. It's a new me, never gonna look back. Never gonna look back. I'm still to last. You move slow when I move fast. And that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. Push it to the 
day one, the pros had some competition from the Pro 2 class. On top of the board, Johnny Gerard was first overall. Cody Barnes from Pro 2 was second overall. Overall, Lane Michael was third overall. London Snodgrass was fourth overall. And Josh Tote was fifth overall. But in the Pro class, Johnny Gerard with just a few seconds was in front of Lane Michael and then Josh Coke and then on the Pro 2 it was Cody Barnes, London Snodgrass and Thorne Devon. Takes the Pro 2 class and the Lady Pro class on day one was Tyler Jones, Corey Steed, Shelby Turner, Rachel Goodish ended up fourth which pretty much that's the way they ended up at the end of the weekend other than Lane Michael did land on top of the pro class on day two but it just wasn't enough to get the overall and London Snodgrass was not able to come out on day two even though he was ripping up the course on day one so that changed the pro two overall a little bit but what a great day of watching the pros come out and hit the tracks the ladies look good so good to see the ladies out here ripping up the track make sure you come out to round three of the u.s sprint enduro and see what a u.s sprint enduro is all about even if you don't have a bike come out and watch the pros hit the track if you have a bike laying in the garage what a perfect opportunity to get it out dust it off and come out and hit the course. Check out Facebook US Sprint Enduro to see where the next round is. It's in North Carolina. But now Austin, my cousin, is getting ready to hit the track, seeing how I can't stay off the ground and stop hurting myself. I buggered up my knee. I thought I was healed up enough to come out and try round one of the U.S. Sprint Enduro. Unfortunately, I must not have been ready. I dabbed my foot, re-injured my knee, and now I've got to wait to find out what's going on with that. But we strapped the camera on Austin. It's a chest mount. It's not the best scenario. It's a little shaky, a little low, but we was able to get out here on the cross test and show you what, it, what round two was all about basically are weaving throughout the jumps Billy was able to throw in some of the safe or jumps that the SOB MX facility has out here Austin is running the open B class He was able to finish first in his class on day one and just a few seconds out of first on day two ending up second for the weekend this is only his second time running the US Sprint Enduro he runs the GNCC and the local series in our area it definitely takes some getting used to coming out here and throwing it down on the track on test one you're usually always on the cross test which usually is always just a turn track today we got some jumps since we're at a motocross facility but then once you do test one whoever is the quickest in your class will line up first for test two which is a enduro test which is what we're showing after the cross test here you want to come out and sprint hence the word US sprint enduro I'm not much of a sprint a splint a sprinter <laughs> I think I broke my tongue as well but it's something that you quickly learn that every second counts. Austin was behind a few seconds at the end of day one. He was able to get out on the last test, make up those few seconds, and gained a few seconds for day two. He 
was able to finish first. And basically he did the same thing on day two. He was behind most of the day. On the last test, he made up a lot of time, but it was just a few seconds from being able to take the overall. This is one that helped Austin with his GNCC racing. I don't know you really realize in a three hour race how important every second counts or how every second makes a difference at the end of the day every turn you mess up that's what the US Brent Enduro helps you to find out that every second matters This is the first time you watched one of our videos. We are Trail Seeker Adventures. I usually drive the camera, jump out here, put, bring you out on the track, show you what the race course or ride event or ride park is all about. But unfortunately, I'm a little boogered up right now. So Austin's grabbed the camera and brought it out on the track. Heidi's racing the 40 women class but if we are at a race event we bring the camera that way you can see what it's all about before you even load up your bike now he switches over to test two which is the enduro test we pretty much get you the full enduro test we are in south carolina so there's usually sand do have sand today but it's over top of a hard packed clay base but one of the things you got to worry about at this location is roots and trees unfortunately for Billy whenever you're on a property and you're running between pine trees Sometimes you're not able to lay the track out as flowy as you would like. You've got to run it through some pine trees. But everybody has to run the same course. Billy always lays out a awesome track will go out and see what the property has to offer lays it out make sure you have options throughout the weekend because when you're forced in between the ribbons sometimes the track gets pretty rough even though a line may not be the fastest line at the beginning of the weekend but the main line gets so rough other lines become quicker As you can see, you don't race against your competition one-on-one, -on -one. you're racing against them with a the clock. You don't know how fast they're going, so you got to go as fast as you possibly can and make the least amount of mistakes. jump across the amateur supercross track jump into another section of the woods this side of the property was a little more open but it was tight as far as making the track due to all the vines you don't have as many pine trees to have to dodge between so it was a little more flowy over here. I did get my MRI and it kind of looks like I did a ACL tear. A MCL bruise I think they said and meniscus tears 
but I have to wait to see the doctor. Actually, it will be Thursday before round three to find out for sure. Brother, my ACL is complete here. So I can find out whether I'm able to at least put it off until July to get a couple races in to qualify for the SXCS. My U.S. Sprint Enduro racing for 2022 is pretty much over. If any of you has had a ACL tear, whether it's a complete tear or partial tear, leave a note in the comments what you did. If you didn't get surgery, you just did some rehab, was you able to get back out on the bike and my main concern is if I get if I do that am I going to have to be concerned every time I put my foot down that it's going to jack it up worse I can get around pretty decent but I'd be curious to know if any of you had the same situation so that would help me to make a decision whether I go ahead and get the surgery right away or if I wait till towards the end of the year Unfortunately, that's a part of the sport. If you was at the U.S. Sprint Enduro, make sure you leave a note. Let us know how you liked it. I believe Eric from the AMA said that the U.S. or the Sprint Enduro is the quickest growing form of the sport in the United States it's not necessarily the largest but a lot of people is catching on to it one awesome thing about the US Brent Enduro if you've not been on your bike for a while and you just want to get out here and make some laps sometimes a two or three hour race is really not realistic but you can come out here and do each test each test is usually about a three and a half mile loop you come out you make one loop you go back make adjustments and then you get to come out for your next test you do that six times a day two times a week that's one reason Heidi really likes this format of motorcycle racing she doesn't like getting out there and having to worry about a bunch of people coming and running her over. She's only been riding for a few years. She can come out here and run her own pace with her own class. She runs the 40 plus women's class. And she's out here with ladies her own speed. And she comes out and has an absolutely awesome time. She backed me up for many years before she started racing. She's my pit crew. And now I'm down, so I'm basically here rooting her on. I love getting out in the woods and watching her hit the track. I believe Austin is coming as well. We're going to have to figure out this camera a little bit better. It's not shaking too bad here. It does need up a little bit. I have my chest mount actually mounted to my chest protector. And that's what keeps it from bouncing as much. But if you ever wore a chest mount that just straps over your shoulders, it's really tough to get that thing from bouncing. We're doing what we can to get you out on the track so you can see what round two of the U.S. Sprint Enduro was all about. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave comments. Every one of those things helps us to know that you enjoy what we're putting out there. We are definitely no pro at this. 
we're just wanting to bring you footage so you can find a race event or ride a park that's suitable for you and your friends so you can get out there and hit the track we are trail seekers we're seeking trails for you to get out and have a blast on your dirt bike Austin's getting ready to wrap up the enduro test after this on day one we was able to enjoy some fireworks oh, baby! Heidi was able to get out on the track I was able to get out and get some footage of her it's really crazy with Heidi she starts out the day but every test even though they're usually last out on the track and the track continually gets worse she gets faster I think it's just her building up her confidence she's yeah, on baby. a 2021 beta x trainer 300 and she's loving the bike we wrapped up the day with some fireworks now I got some raw footage of the weekend make sure you hang around check out the footage and see if I was able to catch you out gripping up the track at round two of the U.S. I just want to stay back, stay back I'm a shoulder to hit you like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging on till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call it shopless Sick of hearing everyone complain when they buy this Place the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane We all live for fame, yeah, yeah. I've been driving this train, years in this 
lane There's no stopping this rain Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I got some things to say yeah. I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Need a couple blends, that's right In the AM, that's my only friend No light, just the sun Coming up on the horizon I lose track of time, yeah Move fast and climb A new class divine, yeah True passion shines And I'm through passing time I choose stacking dimes You snooze half the time While I move past and by I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push bars, no I push away I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Thank you so much for watching our video. We are Trail Seeker Adventures. We bring the camera to every one of our adventures. Whether it's a ride park, we've been to Hatfield McCoy's Croom Motorcycle Park in Florida, out west. Make sure you like, subscribe to our videos. We had an awesome time this weekend on round two of the U.S. Sprint Enduro. Make sure you check the subscribe button here at the middle of the page or watch our next video. Thank you for watching.